Hey everyone, so I've watched Akshay Kumar's Toilet Ek Prem Katha. Here are the first impressions. When I watch a film, the first thing people ask me is, Kaisi lagi? And the second question is, Chalegi kya? I'll try and say what I thought, then you see if your questions are answered. I hope they are. Um, Akshay Kumar is in top form. All credit to Akshay Kumar for selecting a script like this. If Akshay was not in this film, it would have been a documentary. Same for Airlift. If Akshay Kumar had not done Airlift, um, that would have been a documentary. So when a mainstream star like Akshay takes up these scripts, let me give you one small anecdote. This script of Toilet Ek Prem Katha has been in the market for about two years. It's gone to so many stars without naming them, but all of them heard the story and they thought they should not do a film about Toilet. Um, so all credit to Akshay right there. He's in top form, very good acting. Bhumi Pednekar performed very well. There are some really good scenes with some emotional outbursts. Uh, this film has great moments which have been missing in all the films with you know with superstars like be it Tube Light, be it Jagga Jasus, be it Jab Harry Met Sejal. This film has those lovely moments like when they are falling in love, you feel for them. When they separate, when Bhumi finds out the next day after her marriage uh, with Akshay Kumar, she finds out there's there's no toilet in the film. She walks out. You feel for Akshay Kumar because it's such a simple thing in that village. All the women in the um, in the village they go to the fields early in the morning. But Bhumi says that this is not how it will be. I have been brought up in a house with a toilet. I will not adjust to this. That's pretty much what the story is. It came out in the trailer as well. So no big surprises there. The only problem is that the film is too long. The one that we are watching in India is 2 hours and 40 minutes. Oh my God. You know, audience have rejected that time and again. You know, be it Jagga Jasus or any other film about 2 hours, they do not like it. You know, a, a film that's for 3 hours has to be something like Bahu Bali where there's too much happening. It has to be entertaining because if a director is offering a film that's 2 hours 40 minutes, remember with all the trailers, with all the mandatory, um, uh, mandatory promos and all the ads that have to go, you are in the theater and the interval of course, you are in the theater for a good 3 and a half hours. Nowadays people do not have that patience and I cannot believe it that filmmakers even now are not getting a hang of it. Uh, what happens with directors is that they want to put everything that they have shot, but I'm sorry, please give us an entertaining film. Another problem with Toilet Ek Prem Katha is that it's very preachy. Um, it's great what you're highlighting, it's great what you're showing, but don't make it a preachy film. There's blatant plug for the government, you know, they didn't have to mention things like demonetization, but even that is mentioned, like, you know, what was the need to mention demonetization? That's when we feel that you are being dishonest, you're trying to please the government and not thinking of the audience. There's a, there's a scene where someone, uh, where an officer says, Aapko pata hai, uh, pichle teen saal mein sarkar ne kitne toilets banaye hai? Now, this looks like is just to please the government. Like, come on, are you making a film for the audience? Or are you trying to please the government? Are you finding a middle road where you get tax exemption? But that's what's called dishonesty. Uh, the lens should have been much shorter. Uh, I think that would really do the magic. That would do the trick. You know, there are too many songs that come time and again. Why are there so many songs? You know, uh, give this film to an ordinary man and he will tell you where to cut it. It should have been not more than two hours. If you can tell a story in two and a half hours, I'm sure you can tell the same story in two hours if you are very crisp with your editing. The good thing is that you don't get bored in parts. You know, the it moves very fast, but um, Put together, it's very long. Uh, it highlights some amazing issues. You know, the most important thing is that it highlights something very important. That toilets are not made in villages and it's not just the fault of the government. It's the fault of people as well. It's the fault of every department. And sometimes when the government tried to do their job and made toilets, they constructed the structure of a toilet People in the villages didn't want that. So now in those places there are shops running, there are people staying. So that's a good thing that you know sometimes blaming the people and showing it in their face what the problem is. The biggest thing is they also blame the women who never protested and didn't want a toilet in their house. So I think that is very brave. Over and you know above everything, it's an it's an above average entertainer. It may just be the film that people have been waiting for, but that we will get to know only by Sunday because you know the collections of this one should be around 50 over the 
to make to beat you know to make good business it should be 15 on friday uh, 17 18 and so on so that it gets a good um, go, you know so that it gets a good number over the weekend and then of course there's 15th august which is also a holiday so just that right the timing is right the mood of the country is just right you know it's riding on modi modi's um, swachh bharat campaign all that is fantastic and you know uh, well caught you know well latched on to by akshay kumar uh, met the prime minister um, you know, latched onto this, inaugurated toilets, did the right thing. So everything has gone right so far. Now let's see if people accept this. Go and watch it. We can only hope that you like the film.